A lot of orange in the ballpark tonight, and we are underway in the second semifinal. It's a first pitch fastball for a strike. Ooh, no two fastball is in there for a strike, 94 miles an hour. That's a good heater. The third, and that's fair. Inside the line, past the reach of Easton. Hunter jump into the corner to find it. And Jordan Beck thinking about three. He's chugging along. The throw is there late. And Jordan Beck hustles his way to third base with two outs in the opening frame. Well, Ben, we love it when the pitchers go in, but here's the danger. And get up the line, racing home and scoring is Jordan Beck. You can go on and on and on. And this one matches up with all of the best for a while. And that was the line of thinking when he didn't get the start against Georgia that weekend. And strike three on East Step. Dude, it's just staying on plane a little bit longer. To short, Lawson handles it. Snow coming a little bit. Catch get to a board, but can't do anything with it. Control issues. And the way he started, it looked really good. In the left field, jump to the fence. Got it with a little glance back. Defense to go with it. It's a pretty good combination, and so is that. A new swings at the changeup. Third K now for Drew Bean. On hitters, and, and, and they've gotten away with it. Back-to-back -back Ks. It's four now for Drew Beam in an inning and two-thirds. There's ball four and a bat flip oh, on ball four. Oh. He's hollering back to the Kentucky dugout. Let's go, let's go. That's it. Lays off. Late break. Throw to second. Got him. A stolen, uh, pardon me, a throw out by Evan Russell to end the inning. They tried to test him. Stevenson sends it to center. McCarthy started back. Magdi Okoto has looked fantastic in just his ninth start of the season for Kentucky. The old number one. And upstairs. And a strikeout number five, first time through the order for Drew Bain. Back at it. Fastball hit into center field. Racing in Gilbert, won't get there. Good pitch up there. Oh, boy. It's a fastball and they blew it by him. It's a sixth K for Bean through three innings. And had his best location, but his fastball has been devastating so far tonight. Ooh. Yeah, he goes down. Look at The 3 2. Bill Wynn was blowing his way earlier today. Off the glove of Plastiac recovers back to first late. And Tennessee's got something cooking on an infield single off the bat of Drew Gilbert. With a 72 win earlier, that one gets through the left side. Here comes Beck around third. The throw is through. And Tennessee adds another. Trey Lipscomb with a fist pump and a run scoring single. Well, Kentucky goes to the bullpen. Takes out Cotto to give the ball to Strickland. Looking for that right on right matchup. Let's take a look at this pitch sequence here to Trey Lipscomb. So first pitch breaking ball, he swings just over the top of a heater that misses the edge. A little cut piece on the outside corner. Trying to elevate a fastball there. They don't hit their location. He wanted to climb the ladder. Instead, he leaves it belt high. And the SEC's leader in RBIs makes him pay as Tennessee tacks on another one. To short. And that will finish the inning. But Tennessee adds another walk and a couple of hits. I'm just guessing. Oh, Ryan Ritter sends a shot to left center field. That's down for a hit. And Ritter trying to get to second. Got his helmet in his hand. Did he catch his helmet when it fell off or did yeah. he kind of help it off? 
to Ortega. One down and Ritter now at third base. Right, just going to throw 100 with that slider. He's got a whip of 1.14 and he's got a whiff of Adam Fogel. It's probably if Tennessee's able to advance. Ball four. Inside, there's ball four to Burks in Kentucky. There's a go-ahead run to the plate here in the bottom of the fourth. Uh -huh. Like this is just one out. Just took off on him and Devin Burks ends up at second base. You know, with all the summer ball that we have and they get to scout him in summer ball, of course you talk about beam. And Trying to get into bulk right here, Ben. Yeah, he just takes off. Good job by Burns, not buckling that lead leg. One, two. Way down at this time, man. Chase Burns gets a huge strikeout with a tag run at second base. Yeah. Austin Strickland with 94 and Christian Moore taken down. We'll throw it out to finish the strikeout. And a 1-2-3 frame work by Strickland. Slider into left field, and that one will drop. And it gets by Stevenson, who laid out for it. Hunter jump on his horse. He'll head to third. Now he thinks better. What a fantastic job backing up their teammate. Saving jump from a triple. Daniel Harris has been walked twice tonight. And he sends this one into the gap, and that decision is going to get Kentucky on the board. Hunter Jump has scored. Harris at second. Yeah, you give up a free base. Fastball out over the plate. Beautiful swing there by Daniel Harris. Just a little inside out piece into right center field. And a runner that was supposed to be going first to third ends up scoring. As the Cats draw within one. We got ourselves a heck of a ball game here tonight, boys. And out east step at the plate. So the left foot was towards home. Oh. The pitch is outside. The throw to third is not in time. And a stolen base for Daniel Harris. Long and missed. Gets one from the catcher on strike three. A run to first by Renner. Kentucky has tied the game. Well, it was the slider, and he did get the swing and miss, but no chance for Evan Russell on this one. Big lead. There it goes. The pitch is inside. The throw is late and wide, and he didn't even have to slide. Of the week for Kentucky. Oh, it strike three. Cats able to take advantage, though. Some rare mistakes by the number one ranked team in the country. Ben usually does that, does that between innings. Uh -huh. Smash. Ooh. Knocked down by Harris, but no play. Yeah. Yeah. There's strike three. Gonzaga launches San Diego, 15 to 12. Runner goes, pitches oh. up, throw down to second. It's all base for Lipsius. He's now 12 of 16. Probably Drew Gilbert. Strickland made him look silly. That is a fourth strikeout for Strickland. Put Lipscomb on and bring Ortega up with two on and two out. What do you think of the decision? And this one's lined to left field. Hunter Jump has it. And Tennessee strands a pair in the sixth inning. He team to be a regional host coming in. Too. Burks goes down swinging. Offense records. Down goes Plastia. But not an SEC one. Six innings complete, nothing decided. Then a second semifinal of berth in the title game awaiting. 14 coming into this game, 14 top 50 wins. Yeah, you know, and, and Ole Miss was without Graham for a lot of the Not much. Yeah. Strike three called. Strickland said ring him up. Kentucky playing with house money right now. Harris has yet to be retired tonight. And out of short, Lawson. A laser. We go to the eighth and the heart of the Tennessee order. Kentucky pitching staff tonight. Well, then there's that. Lipsius jumps on the first, his second hit of the game. Base hit for Jordan back. Lipsius will stop at second. Lipsius a runner at second, back at first. Chase it out of the zone. Shallow right 
field. Long run Fogle. It'll get down. Tennessee's loaded the bases. He said he hits him. And Tennessee takes the lead on a hit by pitch as Lipsia scores. Big strikeout. And home runs in limited time this season. And get all the way to the backstop. Racing home is back. It's now a two run Tennessee lead on a wild pitch. Yeah, just put him on. Yeah. Shot up the middle, base hit. Lipscomb has scored. Ortega around third. Burke coming home. Double clutch oh, relay. Wow. The throw at the plate. He is out at the plate. But not before Tennessee pushes two across on a Cortland loss and knock to center field. They're going to review this. Burke seemed to think that he was safe. But Kentucky goes. And the question is, does that right arm get underneath? Yeah, I can't tell anything there. Maybe here. Really, look at Burks get all the way to the inside there. He's out. Clips him right there. He's out. Good call. After video review, the play at the plate and the call of an out is confirmed. Be anticipating turning and throwing. Roller through the right side. Ortega flags it down and throws it wide. Ritter decides to advance only now after it got past Russell. That was a wild care of it. Kicked off the fence. Go long after that. Like, that's a big adrenaline shot right out of the gate, it is. isn't it? And, and, and it can come back and bite you because we see that a lot, you know. The new was late. There was a big strikeout for round number two. Make it eight. And Tennessee takes a 6-2 to two lead in the night. How much do we really want to push it with him? Had a fracture in his foot. And he sends this one to left field, and that's down for a hit. Hit him. Mm, and there's a strikeout. Certainty. He balled. Infield and long run for Ritter. Jump charging in from left field, and Ritter can't make the play. Gets by jump. Carousel still turning. Around third is Lipsius, and he's safe. Went all the way to the backstop. Advancing to third is Gilbert. And play until we get going. And so I went back out until baseball cranked up in January, and I departed. And you ended up being the first overall pick of the baseball draft. Sack fly will bring home Gilbert, but I want to make sure I understand this one thing. And he threw a fastball, hit it for a three-run homer, and they walked <laughs> us off and they beat us. <laughs> he get popped in the draft coming up. That's an interesting question. Oh, oh, this scores. is a moonshot. Wake up, squirrels! You got a visitor into the <laughs> trees. <laughs> There's your exclamation point on this semifinal for Tennessee. I can't believe that kid's a freshman. That'll bring you a fur coat. That'll bring some rain, too, as high as that thing went. What do you think about 40 degree launch on that one? Gosh, I was hoping it would flash on the scoreboard, but I don't see it. I wanted to see launch angle, exit velo. And distance. He walked in wearing the mink, and uh, he's going to end the night with it on. White Evans closes it out with a breaking ball, and he caves the side in the ninth inning. Tennessee will be playing for an SEC championship.